All right, Steve. It was a it was a tough opening um, opening weekend in the Prem 15s. A, a, a narrow loss in the end. You're at home. Yeah. You've had a, a week now to reflect. What is uh, what are your takings from that game? Looking back on it. Um, pros and cons. Uh, look, it's always uh, disappointing to lose a game, and and you know we felt going into the game we had every chance of winning it based on. The fact we played them three, four weeks ago, we sort of similar similar teams out, but we knew that we knew they were strong. We knew they'd got probably more experience in their team than we had. Um, and I think having reflected on it, the the scoreline certainly fair. We don't dispute, you know, we don't dispute the scoreline at all. But I think the the extra experience they had in their team probably told a little bit. Um, but where where that is also a huge positive for us is, um, you know, I, I look at five players in particular. Um, Abby Middlebrook and, and Lizzie Hanlon, tight head loose head, 20, 21 years old. Uh, Katie, Sophie, uh, Katie on the wing, Sophie and, um, and Danny in the centres. They're 18, 19 year old kids. Like, to get that exposure at that age um, in, a, in a, a full ball premiership game is massive experience for them. Um, and that will, that will stand us in good stead longer term. So it's first game of the season, it's disappointing to lose at home, but I mean, I had a bit of time to reflect. There is huge positives to come out of the weekend. I think, looking back on it, there were just a few sort of moments of, of taking your chances when yeah. you get them, and, and that clinical edge is important in this league. Is that something you've spoken about in the week? Uh, yes, we have, and it's, it's a bit of the story of our season so far, really. Uh, and as I said, we recognise why. We know we've got um, you know, a, a big number of girls away at the World Cup, and we always knew that because of that, we were going to get an opportunity to to give a lot of younger girls a huge amount of experience but you know when you're a young player sometimes those experiences are tough and they're hard um, particularly when you're under the level of pressure that you are up against the calibre of opposition that you're playing against so it, it wasn't a case of we were uh, it, it wasn't chalk and cheese from where we've been up to this point in the season it, it was pretty similar um, and as I said the great thing is the girls that have had that exposure and experience will be better for it as a squad will get stronger as these internationals come back in so um, I think the long and short of it is we're in a pretty good place, uh, as disappointing as it was to lose the game at the weekend. And looking forward with those internationals coming back, the depth that yeah. you're starting to build here is, is, is really starting to, to come through. And, and in a long season with two competitions, yeah. that's so good. No, it's really exciting. Like we've had, um, we've had Rachel Johnson back in with the forwards this week. Uh, we've had Sylvia, the, the Italian loose heads arrived, and Charlie, the, um, the American tight head, who are both new players. Um, you know, Gabby, Gantor, Gabby Cantona's back in, uh, Robin, the, um, the, the Welsh 10-12's back in. So we can see that, that depth growing sort of week by week, and obviously over the next couple of weeks we'll have everyone back. And look, we know when everyone's available what a good side we are and what a good squad we are. So it's... Um, we knew the challenges of the first two, three months of the season and we knew this time would come when everyone came back in. So I think everyone's really enthused and excited about the next the next few months. Absolutely. So looking ahead to this this weekend, it's the it's the long road trip of the season up to uh, up to, to DNP Sharks. I mean, you know, we play the play there once in the cup. Yeah. But you know, they're a side that's constantly improving and that squad's improved again in this off-season. What, what are you looking for from, from the Chiefs women and, and what are you expecting from them? Yeah, this is meant respectfully because I'm conscious of, of this sometimes sounding patronising, but they are vastly improved. You know, we did, the, uh, we did a defence preview on them and we watched their, their previous three or four games and th there is some footage where you see genuine threats in them. They're really, really good offset piece in terms of their in terms of their strike plays. They've got some, you know, some outstanding players um, who are capable of doing uh, having, having having moments of brilliance. Um, but they are well coached. Now, Mark Luffman is a very, very good coach, um, and you know, I think pound for pound, they've, the improvements they've made since probably Christmas time last year is probably equal to or more so than any other team in the competition. Uh, you know, we recognise we'll go up there as heavy favourites and, and, and hopefully we'll come back with a five-point win, but the key message on Tuesday, actually, from the preview was pay them respect, pay them massive respect, because they are vastly improved. So um, we're going up there expecting a challenge. And just talking a little bit about some of the players we see on the team sheet, you mentioned that some of those new faces coming mm. in. What's it like integrating everyone back in as a squad? Because obviously this group have been together for a long time yeah. already in the, in the pre-season and in the cup run. I, I, yeah, everyone started back in nicely. There's two strands to it really, because there's, there's, there's the technical strand to it. So obviously we've got players that are coming in that haven't worked with us as coaches, they haven't worked with this group of players. So 
you find yourself coaching more actually you're constantly picking up little bits and pieces and trying to put things right with the, with the new girls there's obviously the strand of them integrating into the group um, and, and both things will take a little bit of time because um, you know, there's, there's girls coming in that neither me or ne, neither me or Susie have, have, have ever coached or know particularly well. So um, it'll take a little bit of a bedding in period, but uh, hopefully the, the quicker we can we can get that that the faster we can make that period happen. Um, I think the more cohesive we'll we'll come on the field because we'll be better technically, but also we'll be a tighter group off the field. Uh, so we'll, oh, oh, all been well. That'll uh, that'll go smoothly. Well, we're all looking forward to the weekend. Best of luck. Cheers, Jack.